Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Um, since last time, what the heck was the last time? Oh yeah, since last time, Maya was like, th like talking to Smack about Angel working with the prosecutors, and she's like, oh hell no, here's Lunchbox. Yeah, that's a basic recap of what happened. My voice is kind of weird because I've been singing playing guitar just now, and in between <laughs> exporting these videos, because the recording, okay, anyways, who cares about that? My voice is weird, but it's not really weird, so it's fine. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. Oh, wait. Witness, don't tell me you have something else. You've reached your verdict, Your Honor. Any further comment will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the cough of Queen. Look at this. Oh. It sucks. A, photo a photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest. Gal? Gall? I think it's gall. That the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm? I see no room for error in this evidence. That's right, wait. Look at the asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Well, kinda. The text is kinda blocking my way. Oh, I guess I see a reflection there, but I had to look at it because the text is blocking the way. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You're raising the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I, I guess I... I couldn't help after all. Well, you prolonged it a little bit. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's not over. I mean, it's actually Phoenix Wright, yo. It's not your fault. I knew I could, couldn't could win this case from the beginning. Oh no, why do you, you... Don't say that, Phoenix. You could win it. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyways. No. Sorry, Mia. Right, wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. <gasps> goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. Wait, wet or not? Wet or not? What does that mean? This is the last piece of evidence. Oh, that's right. If she showed another photo, then there's more evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Oh, maybe we can... Ooh. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can I hand down my verdict in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it'll be too late. Like this photograph. The Look at this photograph! The last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest, the latest, this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. Well, I'll think about it later, but yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. That's true wet or not, right? I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with this photograph. I'll... Oh. F me. Uh... Okay. <laughs> don't know. How am I supposed to know? I don't want to hit A. If I hit A, I think my life is over. Okay, it is wet. That is the... Is that the right shoe? I can't... I honestly don't remember what, what shoe it was. Uh... Wait, what's that? Is that water coming out of the muffler? Or like some kind of liquid? Oh, I don't know. Is that a towel like over his like other leg? So he... There's not a lot of blood though. You would assume if he's bleeding to death there would be a lot of blood everywhere though. And it's just like in one area. So would there be a... I don't know. How many times can we try this? Wait. Muffler, though. 
Wait, the muffler. <sighs> I think it's a muffler, because remember when um they were saying Lana was saying muffler on the phone? And that's where um crazy lady, the lunch lady, got the muffler thing from. Maybe she was saying, hey look at the muffler, there's something in there. There's like some kind of oil protruding out of the muffler. Is that a muffler? I thought that was like exhaust pipe. Muffler. I thought muffler is something that's like in here more that makes the noises. No, my car knowledge is not that good. Let's watch. I don't oh, know. I think that's it. Okay, let's try it. Oh my gosh, please. The problem in this photograph is here. What's this? It's oil. There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Is that the muffler? I thought that was exhaust. I don't know my car stuff anymore. Wait a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor? You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or a scarf of any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also part of a car or a motorcycle, Your Honor. <laughs> just think of it as part of the exhaust system. Oh, okay, a pipe. Oh, see, that's what I said. I, I see, and I see. What's this suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? Is it a cloth? I thought that was like. Hmm. So what if there's something sticking on the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Oh, she said muffler? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Sorry, Miss Dar, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say on his mind. Tell us what you think the piece of cloth in the muffler is related to the case. The F? She said muffler. I think that's what Lana said. Oh, not the That's her name. The cough of queen. She said she wasn't wearing her muffler. Then she's like, no, she didn't say muffler. She was talking on the phone and said muffler. Oh, so on the phone? The word muffler was overheard during... Do I have to check it? I don't have to check it, let's just present it. I think this is it. Okay, it's definitely at the music stop. When the music stops after objection or take that, so that's usually it. Miss Dar, recall your testimony for the court. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in the earlier testimony. Or my earlier testimony. Muffler? Ah! Yeah! Mufflers! I'm not sure have a grudge against mufflers and prosecutors. Could it be that the muffler you heard mention was actually this exhaust pipe? Yep, yeah, it's the exhaust pipe! That's it! That is it! <laughs> Could call it an exhaust pipe. I'm more excited that I said it was exhaust pipe and he said it was exhaust pipe. That means me and Phoenix Wright is one entity. He is my spirit animal and I am his. Okay. That means this piece of evidence, piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh, oh my, oh, jammy dodgers, my curly fries. Did something happen? Did she die? Well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. S suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. It's just, it's just so fascinating. I, I, I don't know where I am anymore. Time to say goodbye. Hello. Okay, anyways. If we have any, I almost just like this opera, this whole entire voice. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a dessert. We do a disservice to the law. Oh, good good man. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen the evidence. Agreed? Agreed? I am so Alper his voice, oh my gosh. He's gonna be like, um What the heck's that Alper guy using the song? Is it Nick Lee, Nicholas Bricelli? Bricelli? Something like that? I suppose so. Whew. That was close. But we made it. At least for now. The court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. Recess. It's lunchtime after all. She's still hungry. <laughs> I don't think caviar makes it full, does it though? Oh, to be continued, we made it to the end. Wait, no, it's a recess. Who we'll crap, how long are these trials? Oh, thank goodness. Save clear stage data. Yes, please. We need this. Just, I'm just enjoying this, the noise of silence of the saving. Well, I think we can play for a little more. We have like five minutes. February 23rd, 11.56 a.m. It's not even noon yet. Oh, yeah, it's lunchtime. 
District Court Defendant Lobby. A 30 minute recess. I wonder if there's a food truck outside. Oh, Mr. Wright. Huh? What? Are Charles always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface, but no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Oof. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Because I am Phoenix. Oh, someone commented on my YouTube video and said what Phoenix Wright mean? I'm going to take a break just to say this. And he's so smart about this stuff, because I'm not sure what his name was, but he... I'm, I think it's a he, I'm sorry if, if you're not he. But this person, the YouTuber, was very knowledgeable when they commented. And they're like, Phoenix Wright is actually named Phoenix, because he... Phoenix is known to, like, rise from the dead, you know, after, like, supposedly dead. And Phoenix Wright always, like, dies. Or, like, his cases seem un impossible and, like, is beyond dead. But then he comes back and, like, kills it. And me just saying this gives me goosebumps for now, because that's so freaking awesome if he's thinking about it. Because he does it every time. And this one seems like the hardest case so far, because everything's against him. Even the other prosecutors against him. It's crazy. So let's continue. Sorry about that. Like, sorry, that was interesting. Shout out to that person, because I forgot his name already, because... It came a long time ago when I was like uploading more frequently, but now I haven't. But I'm giving a shout out like way later. I'm sorry. Okay, let's continue. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. Oof, true that. So what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got caught off to the judge chambers. Judge's chambers. Hmm, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny insignificant piece of cloth. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell you the truth. Hola, partner. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Hola, partner. Is that how the voice goes? Oh, no. <laughs> it's, Jake Mar it's Jake Marshall. My bad. He's, he's, he does this. I thought it was like a Hawaiian person, a girl. Oh, crap. My bad. Um, Voice still weird from the guitar playing. <laughs> How's the voice? They say sh I don't even know what it's they say you show, you show a red cloth to a bull, you fire up his temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin at least. Officer Marshall, thought I'd come take a look see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got this place locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. What's going on over there anyway? All the police all the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in muffers, for example. <laughs> um, Officer Marshall, the whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with the scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't you just beat. Now don't you. Oh crap. Now that, don't that just beat all? I've seen the red breeze blow out her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day too. I saw it that. Day two. I uh, saw so that they do. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the war ceremony that afternoon, Edge would have seen it too, I'd reckon. What does this mean? And the photograph taken. Oh, and the photograph taken at the crime scene. She wasn't wearing a scarf. <clears throat> Did it fall out or fly out? So Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner. Sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns, and sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? Uh, probably cow poop. <laughs> bull poop. Bull poop! <gasps> We're swimming in bullshit! Oh, that is so true and so deep out of nowhere. If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh wee! February 23rd, 12.32pm, District Court, courtroom number 9. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and tune in next time, because I guess we're going to go back and talk more to this cough-up queen. I don't know, oh, Angel Star, that's it. She sounds like a porno actress, so badly. Alright, tune in next time, guys, for some more Phoenix Rice Tourney. Yeah, it's getting exciting, and I'm really excited, because I just said it's exciting. Bye. <laughs>